YouTube, this is Chris from Team Shockwave, and I'm here to bring you a deck profile about uh, your send -use. So without further ado, let's start. Alright, so the profile is pretty much standard. Um, three comma threes, three comma twos, and three comma ones. Um, if you don't know what they do, whenever they each have the same effect, so whenever they're normal summon, you get two normal summon and additional your send you from your hand. Um, but you can't bring out the same copy, so you can't 3-3 three, three or 2-2. Two, two. You have to go 3-2-1 or 1-2-3 or 1-3-2. But, um, and then each one have their own effect, so pretty much comma 3. Whenever your Senju monster other than himself deals battle damage, you search your deck for your Senju card and adds it to your hand. Really good, lets you grab the trap card, lets you grab the mountain, and lets you grab the their version of Kalut, which is Suja. Um, comma 2. Strongest of the three, um, 1800, and he can attack directly. Um, so it's hit him and comma three are really, really good. So whenever you attack directly, or have this attack directly, search for a card, and then your opponent can't do anything unless you know he has a response like a mirror force or something. Um, but it can go through monsters, so he's really good. And then the most broken one, the comma one, and he's pretty much once per turn compulsed as long as you have another Yosenju. So you normal summon this, normal summon any he'll send you, and activate his effect to return one face of card. So it could be like a uh, continuous power trap. Um, so return one card back to the owner's hand. So get rid of uh, uh, rituals, exceeds, or synchros. It's just really, really strong. So three is a must of each because you need, you want to hit them so you could go off. Plus, if you go. Three, two, one, three, one, um, and you fill your board, you can potentially OTK. So it's always good to have them. Even if you draw a handful of monsters, you're not really, you know, out of the game. Um, let's see. The two gates. So I don't play the right gate and I don't play the pendulum version because one, it's really slow. You need to set up. But um, this specific card is actually really good on its own. So when it's normal summon, it switches to defense mode, and then I believe, yeah, when whenever you send your monster or monsters would get destroyed by a card effect, if this is in the pendulum zone, you can pretty much destroy it instead. So if you no go off in your opponent tarantulas, you get to you know destroy this instead. Um, when it's on the field, it just redirects all effects from mo from monsters to this card. So if they try to like comma one you, for instance, against the mirror match or BLS or some other thing, it has to hit this card. So really good at two. Other than that, I want to play any. I want to play um the third, the three, the Argate. Sujit, uh, the Kalu. So when it's normal summon, um, again it bounces back to the hand at the end of the turn. They all have that effect. But when it's normal summon, you choose a Yosenju monster, including himself, and it gains a thousand attack. So he becomes a two thousand beater. Or he can make anything else a thousand stronger. Um, or when a Yosenju monster battles, you can discard him from your hand to increase his attack by a thousand. So, a clue. so it's really good if you do a comma three um, and then bring out a comma two, swing with comma two, search this out, swing the monster with the 15, dump this to make it 25 to swing over the big wall that you couldn't get by until you know you get rid of it with the clue. Um, and that's pretty much good at one. And then the others are, or well, the new cards that I've, I love these cards. They're probably not called mountains. I think they look like mountains. A few of my friends think they look like something else, but you know, we gotta keep it PG for this channel. Um, so, whenever the, I run it at three. So whenever your opponent declares a direct attack, you discard a Yosenju card, especially some of this card to the field. When it battles against an opponent's monster, you can activate the effect to make it gain attack and defense equal to the attack of the monster that atta that's attacking it. So you can pretty much just stall him or not activate it at all and let it get ran over. Because when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, he grabs a Yosenju card from your deck and adds it to your hand. So this card can search for possibly the Yosenju that you dump to activate its effect in the first place or a card that you need to go off next turn or the trap card plus it also since it comes out during your opponent's turn when it declares an attack uh, direct attack 
it makes your trap cards live. So if like you set the trap card and your monster bounces and your opponent doesn't do anything during your turn, when this is on the field and your opponent redirects the attack or activates anything, you can stop it with the counter. So really, really good. Uh, definitely play it at three. Um, and then my tech card, the Magat. Um, I played it before at when when it was just these cards because I thought it would be able to special summon itself. Apparently, I can't read, so <laughs> you can't bring out himself. But with this, you can bring this up. So you can actually bring it on defense mode and keep it on the board, or bring it out and then exceed. Um, in my extra deck, I only play a one of six, and that's the bouncer to pretty much burn your opponent for more damage. But um, really tech card, even if you don't want to get this out, you can search for like the Sujik to make it stronger or any of the commas. Um, it special summons it, during, so pretty much when you tribute, you special summon it. It's not like an activated effect or anything. It's pretty, really good. Um, and I think that's it for all my monsters. Yep. Let's go to the spell cards. Um, pretty basic, uh, three tankies. All the Kamas and the Sujik are Beast Warriors, so you get to search all of them out, um, and it gives them a 100 attacks, so that's pretty good. Also, you can all, um, keep this on the board, you could actually, what's the card called? Go into Draco, Heartland Draco, and attack directly for 2000, which is really good. Um, but other than that, it's just another searcher for the deck, so pretty much your Rota. Um, I'm playing two dualities. Uh, again, everything gets normal summon except for the Magat when he activates the effect, but you, you're running a one-up, so the chances of you actually doing this and that is kind of really low. So again, um, reveal three, search for a card that you're going to need or set up after. Um, really good. I want to play three because it gets cloggy. One, and you never see the card, so two is obviously the better play. Um, and then Creature Swap. Since they all have the effect when they're normal summon, they go back to the hand. You get to normal summon. If your opponent has a monster you can't get over, you can Creature Swap it, take the monster, and then either attack another monster they control, attack your monster, or just end your turn and have the comma or the monster return back to your hand. And then you get a free monster. Um, doesn't target, so it's really good. Uh, and then just, I played it with um, Santa Claus, uh, I liked it at first, and then I kind of just kept drawing it into like an empty or uh, bad hand, and I was like, forget it, I just, I took the Santa Claus completely out. Um, two Dark Holes, I know people still do the Dark Hole and Regeki, I just, I don't need to, I like the two Dark Holes. Um, two MSTs, uh, one Night Beam, because... Again, it's more like a control deck, so you want to get rid of all your opponent's options, so their monsters, their back rows. This would be a third MST, but I feel like I'm going to run um, Galaxy Cyclone if I get it. But, you know, that card is stupid hype right now, so I probably won't. But for now, this is fine. And then One Book of Moon and Gyoku. Uh, you can search it with Fire King. Set it and then activate it to stop your opponent, or you know, activate it first and then just to make your board safe so you can combo off with your other commas. I think that's it for my spell cards. And then the trap cards. Trap cards are a little iffy, I'm supposed to fix them, but for now, let me just show you what I got. So it's the three you'll send you secret move. Um, Whenever your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect, and you control only your senju, so you can't have anything else, you can negate and destroy it. Um, really good starting hand, set it, maybe even play the pendulum monster and just negate a uh, threat that your opponent plays. Um, might cut it down to two, three seems like it's it's not bad, but I mean you can search it with comma three, so you don't really need three. But I see people play it because it just shuts down so many cards, so... It's really good. Um, two breakthrough skills. Um, I was playing Phoenix Chain, which would clearly be the better card since you leave your board open all the time. Um, I'm testing these out because I'm playing the Mountain. So you can 
break through and play the mountain for stall or don't even or you can play Phoenix Chain over this, it's really up to you. Um, and then for my one of, I'm supposed to have mirror forces in here, but again, I don't know if I'm gonna cut down the night beam and um, and one of the secret moves to put in the two mirror forces. But I got the ring of destruction, card makes it so you can OTK your opponent. Uh, well, not, yeah, actually OTK. If your opponent goes first and he doesn't really do anything, you just set all the cards and just go ham. Um, so ring of destruction, good. Vanity's Emptiness, again, a control deck, so you want to stop your opponent from special summoning. You yourself doesn't don't special summon, so it's a no-brainer. Torrential, just in case they do tend to go off and you don't have a response, or you don't have answers on the field. And then the Cosmos. Um, pretty much destroys a lot of cards in the meta. Um, not, I don't want to say destroys, but slows down like tremendously. And really good, if you get these two out, again, it's a stupid combo, it's really well, it works really well. Um, but I think that's it for all my spells and trap cards. My extra deck goes the one Exiton, because you know he's Exiton, the Castell, the Corn Ship, the 101, the Dweller, might remove this for like What's that Dark Dragon that came out? Double. Dark Rebellion. There you go. Thank you, Parker. So, might remove this for Dark Rebellion. Doesn't really do anything now. Um, and the Rhapsody. Uh, again, these are just generics tools for all situations. Maybe my opponent has certain things I can't get over. Um, so, Tiger King. Uh, generic 2, or not generic, but 2 Beast Warriors. Let's me search my deck for... Uh, one of the um, Fire Fist cards and set it so you can search the Tanky to ring out, you know, to search again. Or Gyoku to stop your opponent. It's 22, becomes a 23 at the card. And then if by, like I've done it one uh, twice, where I had three face-up Fire Fist cards, you can use the second effect. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a special summon. I actually never read it before, but I, well, I read it. I just don't remember. <laughs> um... Diamond Wolf gets rid of problem cards, uh, Royal Decree, a monster that, you know, stopping you, a Denko or something. Um, you can always just swing over at Denko, I guess. But if you need to go off during your main phase, then this would be your best bet. So, one tire. Uh, let's see, the Heartland Draco, again, play tanky, so you have face up spell cards. Attack directly for 2,000, or can't be the, can't be destroyed, I believe, or you can't attack it. Um, yeah, other monsters can't attack, so that's kind of weird. And then the two specific cards, just for this deck, is, well, the three, I guess. The Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon, the Lightning Chidori, and the Bouncer. Bouncer is just for the Magat um, Mountain combo. Um, whenever, you're an effect, or whenever your opponent activates an effect, you pretty much negate the effect. Don't destroy it, but deal with 1,000 damage, so it's pretty good, and it keeps activating. So you burn it for 2,000 if something that goes off multiple times. Lightning Chidori, really strong card. When it's Exceed Summon, you choose a face down card and return it to the bottom of the deck. Um, then you could attach one to target a face up card and put it in the top of the deck. So really strong, might bump it up to two. Um, might, I actually might keep to one, I don't know, I'll keep play testing it, but for now one is really good. You don't need to do too many. Rarely bring this out, but when I do, my opponent really can't do anything to it. So you need three, uh, three level four wind monsters. Yeah, okay. Three level four wind monster. When it comes out, um, I can attack your opponent directly. Uh, can't your opponent can target harpy monsters with effects? So. This stays on the board, it can't be destroyed by battle, so they can't even attack it. It's just a big wall, and then it just swings directly for 2,000. I believe at the end phase you detach one. So for three turns, your opponent can't touch this card, unless they play like Dark Hole Regeki, I believe, that destroys... Yeah, so Dark Hole Regeki, something that doesn't target. And then the two Cowboys, since you really go off, and you can normal summon, normal summon, normal summon, normal summon, attack, 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 and then your opponent would be like at 800 or 16 or you know anything in between. So you can just burn them for the remainder. Um, but that's pretty much it for my extra deck. So that's my you'll send your deck list. Um, I'm 
kind of sorry, not so sorry about not playing all of the new support. I mean, the Pendulum version could be good if you can get it off. If not, you're going to have a hard time. But for now, I feel like the mountain is just a lot better and it's what the deck needed to protect itself. I think you I still think your Senju is a really strong deck. Um, I believe I used it in what was it, Chicago YCS. I went X2. I could have gone day two, but you know, some things things happen and I'm a little angry, but what can you say? Like you have to do things. I, I just don't ask questions. God damn it. Yes, so it went X2 YCS Chicago. Um, I feel like I could have beaten a lot of other decks. I think I lost my two. One, because I misplayed um, huge with, I went to ham without setting the L gate, so my opponent just gunned near my monster and then I, I lost. And then the other two, the other one, I guess I just lost to, a, um, to an emptiness. I couldn't really do anything. I could summon, but I couldn't beat their monster. Um, but yeah, your Senju is really strong, still strong. Um, if they do get more Pendulum support, I feel like they could. I would rather run a Pendulum deck since the Seed makes your Continuous Spell card valid and gets an additional normal summon. Uh, dieback is a secret rare, so it has to be good. Um, but I think that's it. I mean, it's a fun deck. Well. That's what I got to show you guys. If you guys have your own list or feel like I'm sh missing cards or I should play different cards, please leave a comment. We'll look at it. Um, maybe you can take notes. Maybe you'll see me later with another deck profile. But as of now, that's it. Uh, this is Chris from Team Shockwave signing out.